Hey y'all, it's Jo. Happy Vloguary the second. <laughs> Vloguary, or should it be Janu, Janu vlog? Is it Janu vlog the second, or is it Vloguary? Because Vloguary could technically be January or February. So, whatever. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd just continue on with kind of like how I'm doing little short clips when I can jump in here and show y'all something. And then when I get enough of them compiled up, then I'll put a video out. So I thought I'd just continue on in this method um, of recording and putting out videos instead of trying to do an entire day of trying to show everything I did for, you know, a week or two. So. Here we go. Guess what? Guess what? I did it again. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. <laughs> I made another one. <laughs> Marley birds. One ball shawl. It's all actually I think she calls it a one ball shawl slash bandana cowl. Because a bandana cowl makes more sense, right? Than a shawl. The way that um the way that it is um so this doesn't really go with my red sweater too well but <laughs> anyway i'm showing y'all this oh my gosh i forgot the name of this yarn hold on let me get it <laughs> so i can't seem to locate my ball band but um here's one right here because i used about three I used about a yard, maybe two yards off of this ball um, to finish it because I was just on the edge and I'm like, great. And you know this yarn? I even tried to frog it back. There's no frogging this yarn. It's Red Heart Landscapes is what it is. It's probably a clearance yarn that I got, you know, at um, Hobby Lobby. This is a different colorway. Um, but... It's got a really big halo on it. It's a size five bulky. No, I take that back. It is a four. It kind of feels almost like a five. And um, it's 100% acrylic. So it's Lion Brand Landscapes. And it's really pretty. This one has the blues and the green. And it's even got this brighter tealy blue in here in the middle. My dog just busted through my door. Yeah, so it's another one. Um, I keep thinking, I'm not going to make any more of these. But then, like, when I get a ch an opportunity to crochet, mostly is, like, late at night. Um, and I'm tired, and I don't want to get out a complicated pattern to try to concentrate on it. Or how I so desperately want to finish my socks. So, um, I'll get to that at in just a little bit but so it, it tends to be you know I tend to have a go-to project that I can um, whip up easily and quickly and then and then I'm then I'm happy right <laughs> it's all about the quickie people <laughs> quickies are a good thing <laughs> wink wink <laughs> love them quickies another quickie that I'm probably going to end up making a bunch more of is Crystal with Bag O' Days um, fingerless glove. Number 155. I, I omit the um, scallop edging around the fingers. I don't know, I just like it more plain. But um, that's just me. You may like it more fancy. But here is, this one is done in latte. No, not latte, yeah, latte cakes. Here in latte cakes. I think this is tomato, the colorway tomato. So I have made a pair of the gloves, just like I did the blue ones in the Karen Simply Soft. But let me tell you, the Karen Simply Soft, if y'all work with that, you know it really doesn't have like much give. It's not um, buoyant or stretchy. So, but these are, and so soft, and look how furry they are. I feel like a little 
animal, like a little Sesame Street monster with my furry hands. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little monster. So, um, of course, guess what happened when I finished these? I started another Molly, Molly bird, <laughs> Marley bird, one ball shawl, banana, not banana, <laughs> Bana bandana cowl, bandana cowl, y'all. And, um, so I'll probably, then I'll have this set with the fingerless gloves and the bandana cowl. So that'll be cute. So I kind of made these a little different. I added more length here. Um, I guess I have long, I have long fingers and I have long, narrow and hands with skinny wrists. So I wanted them to be longer to cover more of my fingers. I think the blue ones I made came down to like my knuckles like that, the blue ones I made. So these come up to almost the, you know, my middle knuckle, not my, not this knuckle, but this knuckle, <laughs> whatever knuckles you call that, I don't know. <laughs> so I made them a little longer. So I really like these. Um, Oh, time to do the nails. So happy new year to all of you. And I wish you a very happy, healthy, prosperous new year. So I just wanted to show y'all the progress that I'm making on um, the puzzle. I'm starting to put it together. I got the whole border a little on, on the bottom. And I have pieces placed like strategically like where they're gonna go like I could recognize that and I knew this goes about right here and this all goes right here so I'm just when I run across something and it looks familiar I'm trying to put it in the spot where I know it's gonna go so here's the progress so far it's January the 7th y'all and look, I have it done in the roasted tomato latte cakes, um, Marley Bird's one ball shawl slash bandana cowl with my, my wristers from Bag O'Day from Crystal, number 155. So I'm all matchy matchy. <laughs> Some of my friends and I affectionately refer to the one ball shawl as the Lance Armstrong. <laughs> if you don't know what that's referencing, Google it. <laughs> so after I got through making the bandana cowl and the wristers or fingerless gloves or whatever you want to call them, I still had plenty of yarn in that latte cake left. So I was thinking about, of course, making a divine hat to go with it because I ha I've made about a dozen of those too, right? <laughs> Um, but you know, I'm not a hat person. I don't wear hats very rarely, very rarely. So, um, I was just sitting there looking at my little puppy doggy and I said, you know what? I'm going to make him a sweater so we can be matchy matchy with my puppy doggy. And this is what I have so far. <laughs> I just kind of made it up. I did the set. I did the, uh, the ribbing like on the wristers with the back loop only single crochet and then I kept measuring it around his neck until it got to the right spot where it would stretch to fit him but you know not be too tight and then um, I just started single crochets and I started um, you know because the neck and then it gets wider as the body comes so then I added you know I just kept trying it on him and saying, okay, I need to make it a little bit wider, a little bit wider. These are his little armholes right here. You can see those. Um, there's just a little spot in between his arms, which I, that kind of surprised me when I kept trying it on him because you think that their arms are on the side, but his are, they're like more in the front than, you know, on the sides of the garment, like our arm holes would be on the sides of the garment. The dogs are in the front. <laughs> so anyway, you can see, yeah, you can kind of see that now. Where it's just got that little part right there in between his arms. And this is where I ran out of yarn. 
Now it fits him. This was the spot that I needed to stop, you know, before it got to his little pee pee part. <laughs> you know, this is where I needed to stop so it wouldn't be in the way of that. And then I was gonna bring it about, I don't know, six inches down the back. But I ran out of yarn after about, what is that, about two inches? So if I could get another, it actually looks okay like this. It's a little short on the back, but that's okay, right? Um, but I may, I may add on another cake and continue it on and make it a little longer, but we'll see, we'll see. And it is a little feminine color for a boy dog, but I don't care. I don't care. He's my, he's my baby and he's going to be matching his mommy. <laughs> right? <laughs> I found my band ball for this one. This colorway, the Lion Brand Landscapes, is called Perfect Storm. Perfect Storm. And that's the um, colors in it. Yeah. So that's pretty. You know there's only 147 yards in this. So, um, you know, it makes a small one, but I think it, this is like the perfect size just to have a colorful accessory, plus keep you a little warm and not have to have something so big and heavy. But um, I think that's the perfect size. That's what she said. <laughs> I wanted to show y'all my Erin Lane bag haul from Hank Miss, which was the 12 days before Christmas. And um, she had Facebook live sales for 12 days in a row, y'all. It was, it was crazy. I missed a few of the sales, um, you know, due to different outings or busy or, or maybe I just wasn't into that, um, that project that she did. Like, I think one night was knit packs or something like that and she makes these if you're a knitter she makes these specialty um cases to hold all your needles the different kinds uh you know the straight ones or the um the ones with the cords i don't know what all that's called but you know <laughs> but um anyway so i missed a few of her sales and i also didn't win a couple of them you know people had lightning fast fingers so, um, but I wanted to show you some of the things I did get. I think this was her first night and I scooped up on a bunch of these and I am like, I fell in love with them and they were such a good deal. I just had to get a bunch of them, but I have different ideas. Like for instance, this Mickey and Minnie ziplets. I have something very special in mind to do with these, nothing crochet related, but um, grandchildren related. So I got those and um, I got four more of those ziplets <laughs> that um, you may recognize this pattern. It's the Carvaggio floral with the beetles. I have quite a few of her bags in this print. Another one, which I'm, I'm getting ready to show you that I want another night. So I love that. So that'll probably go in that bag to hold notions or, or who knows what, if I use it, I can use it for whatever I want. Makeup, um, anything, right? So, um, these are, this is another, uh, fabric of hers that I really love. This is a sheep. His name is Larry and Larry comes out with new fabric every year. He has his own specialty fabric, and then he comes out with a Christmas fabric. I don't think I got any Christmas Larrys this year. I don't think I was able to get any of those. But um, this is um, this is Larry dressed up in a unicorn costume, and he says, nope. <laughs> He's like, nope, ain't doing it. Nope, <laughs> ain't happening. <laughs> and that's the that's the bee fabric that she uses to go with it on different projects. The bee fabric that just says nope on it. So I love me some Larry. Love Larry. Here's another Larry. I think this is a Larry from a couple of years ago. And I think I've shown y'all this Larry fabric before. 
it says balls. <laughs> He's got balls. And there's his bee fabric. Yarn balls, y'all. Yarn balls. And this was a really cute fabric. She must have had some extra from a long time ago. And it's a Dr. Seuss fabric. And there's the bee fabric. Really adorable. So stinking cute. So those are called ziplets. I think that's what those are called. She doesn't make these too often. She doesn't like to fool with zippers. For some reason, you people out there who sew don't like zippers. But, oops. Anyways, I also have this one. It's a little bitty tiny bag. This size bag is the one that she uses. Um, I forgot what she calls them. Yarn, yarn, cake holders. Anyway, it's the hold, you know, your ball or your cake of yarn in the little baggie. So, um, and you can fold it down to get to it or close it back up. But, um, yeah, so this is the Larry Nope fabric in this. Usually these that she makes does not have this strap or this snappy thingy. They're usually just the fabric. And those are really nice. I have a few, quite a few of those too, to hold cakes of yarn. Um, so that was something special she did for Hank Miss. She did a lot of special things for Hank Miss that she doesn't normally make. So, um, and this is one that she, that's the first time I've ever seen it. So I don't know if she's ever made it before, but, um, this is called, here's the Carvaggio floral with the beetles. You know, I love me some bugs and that floral print is gorge, gorge, gorge. This is called the super twofer. So it's got the little handles to hold it and bring it around easily. It's also got the straps to tuck it all in nice and neat and this is called a twofer because it's hard to see on the inside there is a panel dividing it in half and that way you can carry this around and do two projects at once and and not get all tangled and messed up with each other right so it kind of keeps your projects separated in there or your balls of yarn if you're doing um, color work or whatever, you know, if you have two of anything. So this is really nice. She does make twofers all the time, but they're smaller. So this is something, this is called the super twofer. And this was something new and big that she made for Hank Miss. Another thing she made for Hank Miss, and sad to say, she said she was never going to make this bag again. And this was it. And it woke my little heart because I love it. <laughs> Number one, I love zippers. I know people say they're the death of yarn, but I love zippers. I love everything to be closed and secure and not have that worry of anything falling out or, you know, I just love a zipper. So this, um, this print, what does she call this print? I can't remember it now. I'll have to come back on if I remember and tell you. So um, you can see it's like a nighttime moth fabric. See like the butterflies and moths and stuff. The nighttime ones. It even looks like a bee. The pink one looks like a little bee. It's really cute. And this was her uh, bee fabric to go with that. And look, y'all. It's like a backpack. You can use it as a backpack with the straps like that, you know, or you can just make it bigger and, and have a sling bag. You know what I'm trying to do here. Oh, I hear somebody's here. I wonder if y'all hear anybody talking. Somebody just got home. I like to do this when no one's home. Um, so that's, you can make it bigger and have it just sling over one arm or, you know, cross body. So anyway, I just love that bag. I'm actually fixing to switch. I'm gonna make this my purse right now. This will be my purse for the month of January. Um, 
I'm, I still have my stuff in my um, Erin Lane bag, the useful bag with the um, Star Wars Christmas print on it. So um, for me, Christmas is now officially over today. So um, I will be gathering up all my Christmas decorations and getting ready to take them all down and pack them away and put them in the attic in the next few days. And, um, and hopefully have it all up by this weekend and the house recleaned and all that mess. You know how that goes because it makes a mess everywhere. So, yay, I love this. There's a fuzzy on it. So I'll be using that. So that was my Erin Lane bag haul for Hank Miss, y'all. So I got my Crochet Society box in the mail the other day, a couple of days ago. So um, I think I might wait and do that in a separate video. So I'll go ahead and um, cut this one and um, I'll see y'all in a couple of days. So thanks y'all for sticking around for Joe's Web number 36. And be kind and be sweet and be blessed. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Show everybody your pretty sweater. Show them. Go to the side so they can see how it fits you.